Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. Today, I'm gonna fill you in on my May reading plans. So, obviously, I am not home. I am on vacation. I did not have time to pre-record this video, so I'm just gonna do it now. This month is full of book clubs, read-alongs, and new releases, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna refer to my phone, and I wanna start off with book clubs and just say that whichever book that Tori from Novel Life and Sam from Sam Reads a Little picks for the cover-to-cover -cover book club, that is what I will be reading. I love how they have differing opinions on the books that they pick and all of the new-to-me authors that I've found. I'm gonna be a part of the replay crew this month, so I'm really hoping to catch it live and just expect whatever Cover to Cover Book Club and the Rake Appreciation Society picks, expect that to be on my TBR. And speaking of the Rake Appreciation Society, the May pick is The Marquess Makes His Move by Diana Quincy. This is supposed to be about a footman and a heroine that's a map maker and I think the footman is like out for revenge and undercover and she too is sort of masking her identity to maintain the success of her business. So I'm very excited because if he is a footman, that means I'm going to be getting the forced proximity that I love so much. So I am here for it. I'm also going to be a part of the SJM along and this month, also the graphic that Jen made. I love her, she's an organized queen, and this entire read-along is gonna be amazing. We're reading all of Sarah J Moss's backlist throughout the year, up until next year. And this month, we're reading Era Fire and The Assassin and the Desert. I love how she's breaking up the novellas. The live show is gonna be on Tori from Novel Life's channel. I will link it below. We're also gonna read Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. That discussion is gonna be on Crystal's channel. And I'm so excited to see how this reread of Avatar goes for me. I'm just interested to see how it washes over me and Throne of Glass is new. So I'm just kind of like piecing the intel together, trying to see what's going on. I do have theories, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And again, I will have all the information down below if you'd like to join us. And also this month is the historical romance readathon. I have a few musts that I wanna to get to. I haven't completely built out my TBR. When I do, you'll be the first to know, but I wanna go through the books that I'm definitely gonna to try to like squeeze into a prompt. And the first one is Mind Till Midnight by Lisa Kleypas. It's just time. I recently read, again, The Magic, which you will see in the reading vlog that I'm working on right now. And I'm just kicking myself for holding on to all of these iconic reads. It's time for me to just start busting them out. Next, I know I want to read Lady Isabella's Scandalous Marriage by Jennifer Ashley. I really want to continue the Mackenzie series. After The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie, I am hooked and I want to move through that. I also found some Sylvia Day historicals on Kindle Unlimited Read and Listen. I love Sylvia Day's BDSM romances. They're very spicy and they hit emotionally. So I have to try these historicals. The first one that I found is called, let me make sure I'm getting this right. Hold up here. Cause you know I always say in every video that my stuff isn't organized. I'm trying, progress, not perfection. It is called The Stranger I Married it's a Regency romance of marriage of convenience, best friends, and I believe that the marriage is convenient and sort of helping the reputation since they are known for having scandalous liaisons. And, you know, everything's okay until the hero decides to only woo the heroine, his wife, and, you know, pack up his uh, womanizing career. So I'm excited to read that. The next I want to read is called hold up, Seven Years to Sin. And this one, I read the synopsis and it's about a heroine that witnesses, you know, a salacious scene carried out by the hero on her wedding night. And ever since that evening, 
She's been plagued by lucid dreams of him throughout her entire Gentile marriage. And same for him. On that evening, he decides to skip town because she is a woman that he cannot have. She's young, she's wide-eyed, she's a lady, and she's about to be married. This is supposed to open like seven years later when she's now a widow in need of passage on his merchant ship. And they have the whole voyage to um, unpack uh, seven years of longing. So I su suspect that I'm going to be in like, can you read and listen bliss? And I'm very excited about it. Sylvia Day can write some steam and pack an emotional punch. So I'm very excited for this. She also has some Victorian romances on there. I may get to those, but these two are the ones I will definitely be reading. And then the last book for the historical romance readathon, I want to finally pick up The First Girl Child by Amy Harmon. <sighs> I've had this for a while. I also think this is on KU for read and listen. I'm obsessed with Norse mythology, just the lore of it all. I will not get into that here, but this is supposed to be a fantasy Viking romance with like warring clans and a heroine that's supposed to be like the salvation for her people. I just hope we wait. Sorry. Um, so I want to read that. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to read for historical romance readathon. I'm also going to be a part of and hosting the mafia romance readathon that's from May 5th to the 8th. Now, I built that TBR on during my um, Try a Chapter Challenge. If you haven't seen that video, I'll try to throw a card up and definitely link it below. I did pick a few MM, you know, Mafia romances. I like the stakes that it brings to the romance and having our heroes fight for the people that they love. Because, you know, Mafia is very traditional. And so I really like the conversations that are centered around that within this setting but the full TBR is in that video. And if I'm unable to get a full-fledged video out, at the very least, I'm going to post my recommendations for the readathon on Instagram. I'll make sure to create a highlight with all of the graphics that Jen created, just so that we can get going. I'm very excited about that. Next, let's see if I have any more read-alongs. I think that's it, and we're gonna move to new releases, but let me just check. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so the first new release that I'm looking forward to, of course, is Caution to the Wind by Gianna Darling. This was pushed to the 23rd. I'm pre-ordered, I'm ready, and I'm obsessed with the Fallen MC series, so I'm absolutely picking it up. The next new release that I want to read is The Earl on the Train by Kerrigan Byrne. This is supposed to be a Victorian Rebels novella, and also like a captor captive take two situation because Sebastian has already kidnapped the heroine but now he's coming into an earldom so I love to see it I can't wait for that the next new release is uh, the second in Maggie Cole's Mafia Wars New York series this is immortal this is supposed to be Dante's twin brothers book and after reading the last one I'm surprised that um this couple didn't get the title toxic I'm ready for the angst Honestly, they're a lot. I highly suggest um, if you are participating in the Mafia Wars series or the Mafia Romance Readathon that you pick up Mafia Wars. It's amazing. I don't know how this woman is doing it. She just came out with uh, Toxic this month and she's dropping an Immortal next month. So I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Um, Maggie Cole is very prolific and I'm enjoying it. I highly suggest that you pick her up. The next new release that I want to read is The Bride Goes Rogue by Joanna Shoup. I have heard of many people that I know and trust who got the arc love this, so this is definitely a must read. And lastly, I cannot wait to read Theirs Forever by Julia Sykes. This is going to be the fourth in her um, Mafia Captor Captive trilogy. It is BDSM. It is a menage. Uh, the first three really center around a woman who falls in love with a mysterious bartender, unbeknownst to her. He's trying to get out of the life and she gets roped in to all of his drama, his kinks, and his best friend. Um, and so I'm very interested in this because this fourth book and the cover really I don't know, telegraphs how they might be shaking up the mafia. So I'm 
here for what she's trying to do. I will say that this trilogy does read like one book split up into three books. But again, I've invested my time, I've invested my money, and I'm excited to see how she wraps this up. And I think that's it. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. I hope the sound is okay. I thought we'd just stop and get this in so I could get this out. I hope you can consider sticking around and subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.